<laughs> wow, look at what I found. Funny what you find uh, when you're working. This is the old, well, not so old, but it's 1995 Raiders Media Guide I gave to my stepfather. This is the first media guide the Raiders had after they returned to Oakland. Now in the fourth decade of dominance as professional sports winningest team. Top professional sports records. Number one at the time, Oakland Raiders. Winning percentage, point six five seven. Commitment to excellence. Well, that's worth I've been working down here in the basement on some stuff from my mother since I'm visiting here, but uh, look at this stuff. Wow, this is, uh, yeah. Give a little opening of the page here. This is, uh, oh, wait a minute. So Mike White was the head coach at the time. There. And then uh, so we, the limited partners were listed here. Uh, in memoriam was Ed McGa. Uh, listed here, Barbara McGee, Gladys Sargent, Ralph J. Vale, Gertrude Wickenbach, John Brooks, here, Julius Hartman, Rita, can't, can't read those two now. One lost records over, that was the last, what, 35 years, right? Um, the Raiders league record from 1960 to 1984, excuse me, 94, um, 313, lost 192, tied 11, Winning percentage of the time was uh, 0.620, over 50%. Boy, lots changed. Uh, white. This Fred Bolitnikoff was quad control offense. Joe Bugle. Hey, Jim Fossil was the quarterback's coach. Uh, turn the page. There's John Fox, who was the, co the coach of the Carolina Panthers. No longer. This went over to the Denver Broncos. Uh, wait a second. That's the Floyd Peters. This man is a legend, a coaching legend, and a player legend. He specialized. He was the forerunner of the style of pass rush that the Indianapolis Colts use today and was made popular by Tony Dungy when he took over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers as coach. This man is a legend who should be one day in the NFL Hall of Fame. So we have Bishop Harris running backs coach, Bill Myers, assistant head coach, tight ends and tackles, John Geist, is an assistant here. Oh, names. Mike Wilson, Stanford, 49ers, receivers coach. That guy. Oh, man, interesting stuff. Uh, Dan Connors, player personnel, man. Bruce Allen was a senior assistant. Now he's GM of the Redskins. Look at that picture. <laughs> Bruce Allen. Uh, Willie Brown was director of squad development. And, uh, I wonder. Ah, Chef Buren, legal affairs. God, still has a beard. Mark Bedane in finance over there. And there is Al Locasal, my mentor. He was the executive assistant at the time. A great man. Uh, see, that was when John Herrera was a young guy. Now he's, you know, he was a senior ex executive then. Uh, boy, he's changed. Uh, Mike Taylor, my man. Public relations then, PR now. And CEO now, Amy Trask was legal affairs. Look at that picture. <laughs> so the rings... Rouster, and uh, this was, yep, aging through years. Boy, oh boy, this is interesting. Hold on a second. Jeff Hostetler was the quarterback then. West Virginia, born April 22nd, 1961. <laughs> interesting. Who else do we have here? Uh, ah, the Rocket. 
Agib Ishmael. Number 86. There is the rocket. Wide receiver. Jeff Jager was the punter. James Jett, the wide receiver. He was a Jet. Vince Evans was a quarterback. There. Southern Cal. Born in 1955. And we had Tim Brown, the wide receiver. And look at how many pages are devoted to Tim Browns. This, white one, two, look at all that. Three, personal. Oh, and we turn it four pages. Yeah, four pages almost. Amazing. Tim Brown. Wow, it's a lot of words about one guy. We have, of course, Raider owner Al Davis, president of the general partner, and now he's called manager of the general partner. There he is with the three Super Bowl tro tro trophies. And you know what? Tim Brown has more words devoted to him than they do for Mr. Davis here, right? Of course, the greatness of the Raiders. But this is it. This is the media guide that I gave to my stepfather who passed away. The first media guide of the Raiders after they returned to Oakland. 1995.